so we're going to be looking at a low lift capability but first of all as always we start with the exercise first so let's go ahead and review how we have been doing functional squats Raj and this is without weight of course but we've already trained in proper body mechanics we're going to let Raj put her arms up over so we get a little bit of counterbalance there and make sure she's hinging at the hips Raj has a tendency to to um, exaggerate the lower doses a, a little bit, which is good in this particular activity, but to, if she had any facet joint irritation, we'd probably have her recruit her abs a little bit more. Now from here, let's go ahead and practice some of those functional squats. And what's nice about this with the arms up like that, even if you're a neck patient, an upper extremity patient, you know, we're, we have value in this exercise. It's just a valuable functional squat exercise. And so you can go ahead and warm a person up with that, educate them in proper body mechanics. But ultimately, we do wanna see what they're capable of. For these lifting type activities, anything where there's, there's force involved, you're gonna notice we only do one repetition. We're not doing the six repetitions anymore. We're gonna do one repetition and see how much they could perform one repetition. And we're going to start light, and then we're gonna increase to the point that they say that they cannot go on any further. And they may say that they cannot continue because, you know, maybe of pain in which we would discontinue. Um, you know, maybe they're just fatigued and they can't continue. Or perhaps their body mechanics just get, start getting so awkward that we have to tell them to stop because they're performing it in an unsafe manner. So let's go ahead now and we're just going to do one repetition max. And let's pick up um, from the table itself there so that the tabletop will be our start position, Raj. Okay. Just because when you start doing the box, we want to be consistent with that. So let's start with the, we know you can do a one pound. And, and this, is, this is a good point. If, if you know somebody can do a one pound, you don't need to really start them there. You can start a little higher, but uh, we're, we're acting like we have no idea what Raj could do here. So start with one pound and just do one repetition go and no speed is required on this so take your time and so um, we're going to take a little bit of a break here now if, if Raj was a patient of mine uh, and I'm trying to emphasize body mechanics I would tell her you know when you when you place the weight back on the table I want you to actually step forward so people get in the habit of keeping their feet planted and people at work should have there you go very very busy feet the, the more busy your feet are, the less stress on the rest of your body. Even if you're vacuuming, if, if, if somebody's vacuuming, mopping, sweeping, if they have very busy dancing type feet, then they're gonna have less stress on the rest of their body. So we've quickly progressed there from one pound to five and then 10. Let's go ahead and try the box there now, Raj. And so you're gonna do, and again, if I'm, if I'm training in body mechanics, I'm gonna have Raj go ahead and face the table uh, to do that. Or you could just, there you go. Just because we don't wanna do any side lifts either. So from there, there we go, back, and then gonna get square with the table. So you could do, and again, we only do one rep. Um, let's go ahead now and put another weight in there. And I think it's okay to let them put the weight in like we just did because after all, that's part of the exercise. Okay. So let's go ahead now and that was, uh, the box weighs 15 pounds. You added 10, that's 25 pounds. Let's, let's put in a five pounder there. And just for demonstration purposes, because you're so strong, we're going to act like you can't hardly do that. You can, you can lift it, you can put it down, but you can't really get it up. Oh, and you drop it. Okay, we're going to have to discontinue. Good acting. And so the most that we did in that case, if my math is right, is what, 25 pounds? Yes. So 25 pounds is what you would enter on the form. And then the form does the math to figure out how much that would be on a frequent basis versus occasional and continuous. You don't have to do that, just add the value. 